All right, guys, so here I'm going to show you how to organize a leg. Um, I also created a new piston, which I've put up in our user group, where you guys can uh, have it. It's a little thinner. and allows it to rotate around the object without hitting any of the other pieces of geo. And feel free to even taper down some of the areas of the geo if you need to, so you can maybe make this guy work a little bit better. So when he rotates, the pistons go together, and we'll talk about how to do that later. What I'm going to do here is show you how to organize the leg because they need to be organized just before you start to put in the bones and they need to be centered correctly. All I do right now is just grab a whole section of a leg and I'm going to group it. It's got to do edit group and we're going to set our pivot. Looks like I didn't like my node command. I'll link, in that, link into that later. Let's go and do, um, we'll call this uh, front left. So mech front left, GRP is what I put for group. I'm going to hit insert. I'm going to move it into the center. Now you want to make sure these guys are pretty centered up. So if it helps, you can look for the center of the piece right there. It's right there. Keep my finger on the V key and I'm going to snap it to that area and insert to lock it in. Let me double check where it's located. Let me hit insert to bring it down some more. Double check on this. See where it's at. Looks like it's about right. We do want to be right the first time. So what we can do is get ourselves into x-ray mode real quick. I love x-ray mode, it's so helpful. And now I keep my finger on the V key and snap that right to the center. There we go. And insert lock it in. So now we know wherever this guy moves, he's going to rotate around our object. Now before I get too into that, um, you do want to correct some of these legs because they are kind of intersecting with the geo. So let's turn off x-ray for a second. And let me see if this guy, he's okay the, here. Let's double check the other area. So when, if it's intersecting, what we can do too is just move it a little bit more forward. And we're gonna fix that in a minute. We're gonna rotate him just a tad. And translate him a little bit. So you can do that for some of the legs. I'll do this briefly and then I'll go back to what we just had. So you can position these guys correctly. And the reason why you want to is so that when it rotates, it doesn't intersect with the geometry too much. Or if it does, it's very minimal. And we can even taper the upper part so it doesn't run into this pushing through. And to do that, what you can do, let's go back a few steps. Do one more redo. <coughs> I can go in here and taper this a little bit, editing the geo. And you do want to make sure you set the um, object. Some of this won't quite work. And then we can just taper this down by squishing these guys in a little bit. And maybe even, let me see here, squish, yeah. And then pulling some of these other parts up just a little bit here. So you can do that so it isn't a constant problem of pushing through. All right. So if it's a little bit intersecting, that's fine. That's not that big of a deal. You can live with that. So um, with that guy set in, let's go back and see if I got my group still established. There we go. Cool. And you can even get rid of some of the other ones and we can duplicate our groups. And you just gotta be careful when you do this. So if you make any adjustments, and again, I said you guys can make any kind of adjustments you want. I'm gonna go in here and delete some of the previous pieces of the leg. And you can hit the up arrow to go into that group section, which is kind of nice. And uh, let me get rid of some of the other legs. These are previous lecture pieces here, but we're going to get rid of this guy. Excuse <sighs> me, this is a late night lecture. I'll grab this guy here. And then finally we'll delete 
the rest of this dude down here. There we go. So we have this guy pretty set up, and it looks like he might work. If we go in here and do the group, we can test it out to make sure it moves correctly and nicely the way that we want. That works pretty good. Slight intersecting there, but we can always taper that in the front. And um, now that we have him positioned, we can now go in here and duplicate duplicate this guy. So we'll go edit to duplicate special. Let's actually see what his access point is. It's going to be Z. So let's edit duplicate special. And you always want to check when you do this. I'm doing duplicate special on a group, and my has a tendency to, to um, try to keep track of your nodes unfortunately they can flip some things and mess some things mess some things up that nah, can't talk mess some things up so you have to go back in your outliner and double check on that to make sure another transform node isn't hiding in there because it can really be a pain in the butt to try to fix so i'm going to do one here and i'm going to do a negative one here and then i'm going to do duplicate special and the reason why we want to set this up ahead of time, let's see what errors there was. All right, it's a little weird node fail, but I think we're okay. And the reason why you want to set this up ahead of time is before you put your bones in, you kind of want to be in charge of how this thing's going to be displayed. <clears throat> Excuse me, and how it's going to work. So I can move this into place. Now it doesn't really matter where you have them as long as that pivots in the center because you're going to put controllers in here and they're going to be the ones to be zeroed out anyway. Control C, I'll just put him back in his generic pose for now. Grab this guy, go up again, and again, you'll have to rename a few things. Mine is nice enough to put ones and twos behind it, but you can always rename it really quickly by grabbing the whole set. All I do is grab the whole set and say leg, <laughs> mech leg, and it just renamed using the rename tool. <clears throat> Went all the way down the chain. Now, this time we want it to um, be negative on our X. <clears throat> Let's go to duplicate special make this regular one and we're going to do negative one on the X and hit duplicate. You can see we have the leg on the other side and finally the last ones on the Z one more time. You edit duplicate special. No need to go to the Y because that'd be weird. Let me go negative one here and duplicate special. There we go. I keep selling node error which is making me a little bit nervous but I think we should be all right. So there we go, that's how we organize a leg. And now, again, we can check to see if the rotation's working. It's working pretty good. We could probably still go in here and taper some of the geo, but overall the piston's inside the area. Everything's kind of set to the center and we can start working on the bones. All right, so I just thought you'd real quick show you guys that. Um, the next thing we're going, going to go into is the bone setup for this guy for the legs and then from there we'll talk a little bit about rigid bind show you how to paint it out a little quantum locking for the feet so it's kind of floating pieces which I'm going to texture later and you saw how we did the shoulder so we can add that shoulder attachment once we've made it once uh, after we've established how to set up the rest of the bones which we'll get into tomorrow so let me grab this last piece again I'll give you guys this piston I'm going to go to duplicate special this guy on his Z plane. There he goes. Duplicate. Actually, I don't really need to do that. What was I thinking? Undo duplicate. Just do control D. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't like to do that either. That's fine. We'll just ignore Maya for being stupid. Let me hit the F key on this guy. See what it looks like. Make sure they're in the right spot. That's about right. We can always adjust that later. All right, so that's about it. And uh, we'll get on to talking about the rail gun and the legs. So the next one, we'll talk about the legs. Next, after that, we'll talk about the rail gun and the spine and some of the other joints. Animation control, IKs, and so forth. I'll do three videos for tomorrow concerning this robot.